always keeps his promises. Ah, good question. Right now, I'm documenting some of the terrible things that happened before the flood. I need to warn my children and their children after them what can happen if they do not follow the Creator and His ways. Why don't I look 600? <laughs> what do you mean? I look about the same age as any other 600-year-old person I've met. <laughs> well, except for my wife, of course. She doesn't look a day past 400. If you say so, dear. Imzara still as beautiful as she was on our wedding day. What was the world like before the flood? Ah, good question. When I was a young boy, much of the world was beautiful and many people still loved and served the Creator. But the, the generations that followed grew extremely corrupt and violent. The world became such a dreadful place. God is now washing it clean. Oh, I should know this one. Imzara's listening. <laughs> We've been married for a little over 550 years. Has it been that long already? My, how time flies. Oh, you can see reminders of our anniversaries on that shelf over there. Imzara, my dear, you do love that letter. A any more questions? Hmm. Well, God gave me the basic instructions to build the ark. Go for wood, 300 by 50 by 30, and that guided all that we did. <laughs> I've been building boats most of my life, but of course never anything this large. So it took me a while to plan the construction, and there were some difficulties to overcome. But God is wise and knows everything, and He provides all we need. Do you have any more questions? Why does my globe only have one landmass? That's a good question. Well, when the Creator made the world, He gathered all the water together in one place, which is why you see only one landmass on that globe. Oh, I have traveled and explored much of the land and seen so many great marvels. Uh, but that world is gone now, buried under the waters of the flood. Hmm. I wonder what the new world is.